get no rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my Hey folks, Daniel with Aired Down. Welcome back and a special thank you to all my subscribers. Things are crazy right now, right? I mean, this coronavirus. I've got my mask with me everywhere I go. I've got a, a bottle of hand sanitizer in every car I own. Um, there's rioting, there's racial injustice, there's hate all over the place. There was a fire on the hill right behind my house and we didn't know if we were gonna evacuate or lose our home or what. I just had a new baby, she's two months old now. I've got three kids under, I've got three girls under five. They can't go anywhere, they can't see their family, they can't do anything outside the house hardly without either being badgered or without being unsafe. I haven't gone to the gym and it's starting to show. Don't look. So the wife blessed me. She took off to California, she brought the kids with her, they're gonna go see their grandparents and I've got the night to myself. I'm just gonna take what's left of today and I'm going to pretend that everything's okay. I'm gonna load up the Jeep with a couple bare essentials. I'm gonna get out in the hills. I'm gonna take the long way around. I'm gonna go see some stuff. I'm gonna go spin some tires. I'm gonna go enjoy the Vortec Max in this thing for a few minutes. And I'm just gonna take the scenic route to one of my favorite places, Panda Express. I'm gonna go get me some Panda I'm gonna take it out in the hills, and I'm gonna eat it. Let's get packed up, let's get on the road, let's go forget about everything for just a minute. All right, let's get the f out of here. There's some nefarious creature underneath this piece of wood. Nothing. I lose. You get 10 bucks. So what? I don't care.
and back, nine in front, because that seems to even out the, the bulge. It's time to go play. As you can see, the Jeep handles those big bumps really well. I mean, it's not a Baja rig, but with the Bilsteins and the Wagoneer springs and the aired down tires, it does really good. I mean, I'm on the bump stops once in a while, but not that bad. You know, really the only thing I've got to watch out for is like those little hidden G outs that you just don't see in time. And even then, the biggest problem for me is going to be the rear end of this thing. It's pretty weak. I mean, I got a big motor, I got big tires, but that Dana 20 output really just isn't a match for it. If you hit one of those bumps just right, you're going to break something back there, that's for sure. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so a little foreshadowing for you, but you know, whatever. Well, as with any spirited driving, you might wind up uh, breaking something. So here I am, I have broken something. This lovely gem is the rear output for my Dana 20, and it is now smoked. So, it is time to pull this drive shaft off and drive and two-wheel drive out of here. 
Luckily, I have some tools with me. Never go without tools. And uh, you know what? I'm still going to Panda Express, and then I'm still coming back out here, and then I'm still eating my Panda, and I'm still drinking beer. All right. Looks like the shaft could have been rebuilt anyway. Let's see how far we can get in front wheel drive. I 100% bet that you think I got loaded up on beer and came out here and broke my Jeep. But there's my broken drive shaft. Here's the cooler full of unopened beers. So I don't even need beer to jack my junk up. But uh, how exciting. Anyway, drive shaft's out. There's really no damage up there. It didn't really do anything at all. So, I'm pretty upset with myself. It shouldn't have gone down like that. But, when I was whipping around that corner, I had no idea that little that little G out trench was there. And as soon as I felt the front end just boom, boom into it, I let off the gas. But I had wrapped it way out in second and the tires were still spinning when the back went through it and that sudden stop just bleh, tanked the rear output. So, sure, I'm pissed. I could, I should have done something else. I shouldn't have been driving like an animal. Even though this thing kind of like begs you to drive like that. I should have been more reserved. I went through it. My spindles didn't pop off my knuckles. You know, my steering didn't shatter. The rear axle isn't bent, the front axle's not bent. I have those aluminum wheel spacers in the back. They stayed put together. My bump stops look fine. I mean, the, the hit was hard, but because the tires were aired down, it wasn't so bad. You know, my back doesn't hurt because my suspension seats just cushion the blow really nice. I just felt myself like sink in to that seat. I didn't lose nothing. My tranny and my motor stayed together, you know? So really, all in all, even though that sucked, it was kind of a, an opportunity that I'll take to uh, to be happy that the Jeep can take such a big beating off-road. And really, I mean, I knew that that Dana 20 output was weak from the beginning. And uh, it's one of the weakest links on this Jeep. And now it's going to get an HD output. Thankfully, the way that Dana 20 is put together, it stayed alive for probably 20 highway miles with uh, front wheel drive, so you gotta be happy about that. Plus the drive shaft needed rebuilt. So if all goes right, I was gonna get an HD output anyway. I knew I needed to rebuild that rear drive shaft, now I have the chance. The only thing I'm gonna be out is a little bit more spirited driving I could have done tonight and maybe some time. And having to do things kind of before I was really ready, but all in all, I still got out in the dirt. I still had fun. I still did some filming. I went and got dinner. I had a nice night off despite it, so I still consider it a win, even though I'm a giant jackass who can't see G outs, I guess.
If at any point in this video you were like, wow, he's mobbing that Jeep, or oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened, or if at any point watching this episode you were entertained, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Daniel. This is Aired Down. Peace out. Go rock crawling. I'll catch you later. Let's see what this fortune cookie says. Maybe has some jeeping wisdom for me in the future. You are destined for greatness. <laughs> you sure don't feel like it today, fortune cookie.